What's up guys and girls, John Rettinger here, and I want to give you a head-to-head -head comparison of arguably the two hottest smartphones on the market right now, the iPhone 3GS for AT&T and the Palm Pre for Sprint. About two weeks ago I did a head-to-head -head comparison of the iPhone 3G with the Palm Pre, but that wasn't so fair since the 3G was running about a year old hardware. So the 3GS has been out just about a day, and the, 3, and the Palm has been out for little over two weeks, so this is a more apples to apples comparison. The screens have been dimmed on each of these, so they'll show up a little bit better on the camera. So to unlock an iPhone, slide to unlock, and to unlock a Palm Pre, you slide that up. So I rely very heavily on calendaring. I forget appointments left and right, so for me a calendar on a smartphone is of utmost importance. So let's launch the calendar apps on each of these and see how quickly they load. Try to hit them both at the same time. And the iPhone 3G clearly launched that much, much faster. So we'll close both of those. And for those of you that may follow me on Twitter, you know I do a lot of tweeting. So let me launch two third-party Twitter apps on both phones and see how quickly they load. It's certainly not the same application, so this might not be the most fair of comparison, but it does show you the speed of two native applications that do the same thing. So we're going to load Twitterific on the iPhone and we're going to load Tweed on the Palm Pre. I'll tell you the hardest thing is trying to hit these buttons at the same time. Okay, so Twitterific is already loaded. Tweed is still loading up. And there it is, loaded up. So you can see that the 3GS was noticeably quicker. And yesterday I did a comparison of the 3GS versus the 3G. You can see the S really does stand for speed. Let's go ahead and close both of these applications. To close an application on the Palm, you push the Home button and you throw it off the screen. So the next thing that I want to show you guys is screen rotation. That's a very important thing. Both feature accelerometers. So as you're using it and you are looking at a web page or whatever, you turn the device, you want it to be able to rotate relatively quickly. So let me go ahead and show you that on a web page, and then we're going to do a full browser comparison on each of the devices. So I'm going to load up my YouTube page on each of these, and we'll do a full browser comparison in just a moment. So there it is on the Palm Pre, and there it is on the iPhone 3GS. So let's see how quickly both of these rotate. I'm going to zoom out just a bit. All right, and we're off. And the Palm Pre was faster. Let's try it the other way, let's make sure that was accurate. Nope, the Pre was faster again. Try it one more time. And still, the Pre was faster. So when it comes to screen rotation, the Palm Pre actually is a little bit quicker. So since we've got the browser open on each of these, let's do a browser uh, speed test. And we're going to compare 3G and Wi-Fi. 3G speeds are going to vary depending on where you are, but Wi-Fi is going to be a constant. So right now, these are both running on the same Wi-Fi network. So we're going to refresh both of these pages on my YouTube channel and see how quickly they load over Wi-Fi, and then we'll do head-to-head -head over 3G. Right. So let's hit the refresh button on each of these, and let's see how quickly they load. And then we'll try an entirely new web page as well, one that wasn't already loaded onto the device. So we'll go ahead and hit on each. Try and do it at the same time. There we go. And they're both off. Looks to be relatively close. The 3GS is done almost the exact same time that the Palm Pre was done. So let's go ahead and launch a new web page that's not stored in the memory on either of these. I've cleared it, and let's see how this works. So I've got pocketnow.com ready to load on Wi-Fi on both of these devices. So let's see how quickly each of them do it. Okay, they're both off. Both are almost done. So the 3GS finished just barely before the Palm Pre. So now let's go to 3G signal strength, and I've got 
5 bars of signal strength on the 3GS, and I've got 5 bars of signal strength on the Pre. So let me go ahead and turn Wi-Fi off, and we'll come back and continue the testing. So Wi-Fi has been turned off, and I've got Engadget.com queued up and ready to go. Let's see how quickly both of these can do it. Okay, they've been hit at the same time. And they really seem to be very, very, very closely matched in speed thus far. With really no clear-cut winner. And the 3GS is already done. And the Pre is still loading. This is one of the first tests where we've actually seen one of the devices finish that much quicker. And now we're finally done. So in this case, on a website that's fairly graphic intensive and has a lot of text, the 3GS was noticeably faster. So one of the things that I tested in my 3G versus 3GS video, a text message came through, was the ability to scroll without having the page need to refresh and load. And for those of you that are using a 3G or an older iPhone, you'll know that as you scroll down, you kind of get those blue and gray checker bars. So let's see if that happens on either of these. So there it is on the Pre and nothing on the iPhone 3GS. So the 3GS can handle the faster scrolling, clearly right there the Pre cannot. So something, definitely something to keep in mind, the 3GS definitely has a little bit of a faster processor than the Pre does. So as you guys can probably guess, I love YouTube and I like to watch YouTube videos on my phone. And both of these devices come with built-in YouTube viewers. So let me show you what each of them look like. So there's YouTube on the iPhone, and let's launch it on the Pre as well. And we'll do a speed test, see how quickly each of them launch, although they are different applications. Oops. Try that one more time. Okay, so both are launching their YouTube applications. And you're very limited with options on what you can do with the Palm Pre. On the iPhone, you can view most viewed, featured, you can do it by today, this week, or all. On the Pre, you're very limited to just popular, most viewed, and history. And you don't have the option by viewing it by day or week. It really doesn't tell you how it's grouped. And if you view popular by day on each, the videos don't match up. So I'm not sure what sort of algorithm the Pre is using. But let me show you what videos look like on both. You can see they don't match up here. So let's try video quality on YouTube. And this is just over 3G, we're not over Wi-Fi. So this is how it would look if you were out on the road and not at home. And I'll turn the volume all the way up. Wow, that was annoying. Um, but the speaker is very loud, and the quality is actually very strong over 3G. So let's try the same thing using the Palm Pre. To get a very different load. And we'll turn volume all the way up. Okay, that was enough of that. I do have to say I've been very impressed with the speaker on the Palm Pre. It crushed the 3G speaker, but the 3GS speaker is just on par. So speaker-wise, both of these are very, very, very loud. You're going to get really good volume and I think pretty decent audio fidelity out of each. So the big difference about each of these phones and the things that really I should mention is that the Palm Pre lets you multitask, meaning I can open the phone application, and then I can go and open my Twitter application. And while I'm doing that, I can go and open, let's say, YouTube. I have the ability to multitask, and I can manage my applications using what Palm is calling their card system. So I can scroll through different applications, find one I want to launch, just tap it, 
And if I want to close one, I just swipe it off the screen. And multitasking really is fantastic. And I thoroughly enjoyed using it on the Pre. And there were a lot of times when I thought that I wouldn't use the ability to multitask. I didn't think it was necessary. But the more I had the Pre, the more I realized that I was using it much more often than I expected. So the other big difference with the Pre and the iPhone is, of course, the slide-out QWERTY keyboard. The Palm Pre does not feature a on-screen keyboard like the iPhone 3G does, so you're relying entirely on those keys, which definitely takes some getting used to. They are a little bit small and relatively flush, but you will get used to it. The only problem with the keyboard on the Pre is that there is no autocorrect. I would expect Palm to update that in the near future, but you are going to make a ton of mistakes. The keyboard on the 3GS now goes in landscape and autocorrect, so I'm actually much more accurate now on the 3GS keyboard than I am on the physical keyboard of the Pre. So the iPhone 3GS now has the ability to record video using the 3 megapixel sensor. The camera on the back of the Pre right now does not record video. Definitely something to keep in mind. The 3GS also gives you a compass, the video editing ability, and a few other features. But for the most part, smartphone for smartphone, you are getting a lot of the same benefits, although you are getting different networks. I will say, at least in my case, I've been very happy with Sprint's network. The signal strength has been strong, the voice quality has been great, and I really like using Sprint's built-in navigation service, Sprint Navigation. Right now, the iPhone 3GS does not have turn-by-turn -turn navigation, although it was promised to be coming relatively soon from TomTom. So the question as to which one you should get really is going to be up to you. You can see that speed here really wasn't that big an issue between both devices. They are both very, very fast. If you like the iPhone for, let's say it's elegance, on-screen keyboard, or huge, huge, huge app store, or you're already on AT&T, the iPhone 3GS is absolutely fantastic. The Palm Pre, if, you're, don't get, if you don't get good AT&T service where you are, or I know a lot of you just don't like Apple, the Palm Pre is a fantastic platform, and it really is in its infancy, seeing as this is its only its first release. So I can recommend actually both devices. I can't really give you a clear-cut winner, unfortunately. I will say they are both powerful, feature-rich phones. I don't think you can go wrong with either one. So guys, for exclusive content, be sure to follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash john 4 You can ask me all the questions you want about the Palm Pre or iPhone 3GS. I'll put a link in the sidebar, and I will see you guys in the next video.